What we are interested in is to build something more efficient where the signature size does not depend on the number of signers, ideally. Or at least the signature size is smaller than the concatenation of the individual signatures. So in Dahlia's, the scheme we published, the signature is constant size, so it does not depend on the number of signers. And verification is about twice as fast as the trivial aggregate signature scheme. And now one of the main contributions of Dahlia's is that it works on the same perf as the ECDSA and Schnorr signatures that we currently use in Bitcoin. So that will be SEC P256K1. And if we use Dahlia's in that scenario, so using curve SEC P256K1, the public keys in that scheme are exactly the same public keys that we use for Schnorr signatures today and ECDSA signatures. And a Dahlia signature is always just 64 bytes. It's same as Schnorr signatures today, regardless of how many messages and signers that we have. And Dalias is an interactive signature scheme, which means that there needs to be some communication between the signers and they need to cooperate to produce a signature. And Dalias in particular requires two communication rounds, very similar to Music 2. The first round can be pre-processed in many cases. And another feature of Dalias is that it supports what we call key tweaking. So essentially you can sign for a taproot tweaked public key and also for BIP32 tweaked keys. And of course, the main application for Dalis, while it's a general interactive aggregate signature scheme, is to support something like cross-input signature aggregation, CISA, and Bitcoin.